So if you are somebody who's taking decisions based on the person you're clinging on to, how that person would react or like how it would affect that person, you need to stop that shit right now. Namaste everyone. How's it going? Today I'm going to talk about neediness, clinginess and how needy people push people away. If you are somebody who is needy or clingy to your girlfriend, to your husband, to your friends, I'll try to give you some tips to help yourself. If not yourself, if you know somebody who's clingy or needy, might be useful to show them this. First of all, neediness pushes people away. Why? Because neediness is not an attractive trait. Why? Because of economics, supply and demand. If something is available in a high amount of supply, like if you are just giving yourself to somebody or like just throwing yourself at them because this mostly happens in terms of human relationships, the neediness and clinginess that I'm talking about. If you are somebody needy and you're throwing yourself onto a person or you are just latching onto them all the time and you're just trying to make plans with them morning, evening and night, each and every single day of the freaking week. The thing is that person is not going to value you. Why? Because you are not demonstrating any value. You are not showing that you are in scarce supply and you should be in scarce supply. Valuable people are not needy because they know what they offer. If you are needy or clingy, do not think that you have nothing to offer to anyone because that is the second thing I want to tell you. It is impossible that you are here and that you have nothing positive to give or nothing which can give you a sense of self-worth, nothing that can uh, make you valuable to your family, to your friends, to your partner. It is impossible that you have nothing to offer them. You are unique in your own way. Maybe you just have not realized it yet. If you do not know what you're good at in life, if you like don't know what you can offer to the world or to the people around you, the ones you are in a relationship with, you need to realize that maybe you just have not stumbled upon what is your special ability or your purpose over here. Okay, so hold on. All right. Do not think that you will not ever get that boyfriend again or do not think that you will never get that friend again or you will never get whatever it is you're clinging on to. Like, do not think that that is the one and only thing in life that can make you feel valuable because that's the third thing which I want to tell you. You are the only one who can value yourself. You cannot look for external sources of validation. You cannot look to somebody on the outside to give you validation, to make you feel important, to make you feel valued, all right? You are the only one who can make yourself feel that. So if you are somebody who's taking decisions based on the person you're clinging on to, how that person would react or like how it would affect that person, you need to stop that shit right now because you are just dragging yourself down and you're continuing on the behavior which is ultimately, most probably, going to make you lose out on that person in life unless that person is using you for some fucking evil thing where they're just using you for some benefit and they're you know in a way just exploiting you and kind of tolerating your neediness up to a certain extent because maybe they are getting something in return it's many times this is the core root cause of abusive relationships that a lot of people have be it family relationships, sibling relationships, partner, romantic relationships, whatever it is. Fourth, work on the root cause. Try to figure out why are you needy? Try to figure out why are you clingy? What is it that makes you feel like shit that you have to latch on to other people to feel worth something? What is it? Are you fat? Do you have body issues? Do you have low confidence? Like, do you have a sense of no achievement in life? Do you think that you're, you know, completely useless? Or do you think that you are not able to please people or that people don't view you as fun or exciting or whatever? Are you a girl who thinks that if you lose your current boyfriend that, you know, nobody else is going to find you attractive? Whatever the fuck it is, find out the root cause. Find out what is the main problem and work on that. Spend all the energy that you spend being needy and clingy and pissing other people off. Spend all of that energy on working on that root cause. If you have body issues, sort them out. If you're fat, lose the fucking fat. If you're a guy who's small, if he thinks that, you know, oh my God, look at all my mates, they're all buff and that is why I like don't feel as confident around them. Fucking get to the gym, okay? Solve the root cause. 
and be very very clear as to why you're doing it like are you doing it to impress those people again or are you doing it because you want to elevate yourself you want to get above all of this neediness and clinginess and feel that you're worth something